Hello, everyone. Glenda Mollett here, and I'm live in my craft room tonight. <clears throat> Pardon me. I'm still got a bit of a throat thing happening. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> I'm just going to go over onto Facebook and get this shared to my peeps in my VIP group so everybody will be in the pool. Share to my group of very important people. There we go. All right. <coughs> All right. So, hello. And how is everybody tonight? I am still a bit on the sickish side, but... <coughs> I wasn't coughing all day until I had to go live. So let's see if this is going to work. I don't know. But we'll figure it out together, right? Just as soon as I get this. Where am I here? Okay. I just have to make this bigger because sometimes I can't see the the comments. There we are. Hello, Wendy. Okay. Sometimes um, StreamYard doesn't let me see the names of the people who are commenting. So I have to get two, lo two screens open and multitask. And Oh, look at everybody. Oh, hello, Norba, Sharon, Holly. Yay! How exciting to be together again. It's been a long time. I know it was Thursday, but <clears throat> Thursday was... I'm not a very fond memory of my world. <laughs> <But coughs> Hi, Carmen. <clears throat> okay, let's let me take a drink and see if I can get rid of this. All right. So you're done seeing me. You don't need to see me anymore. Let's look at the important stuff. Going to get that out of the way because I have a couple of things to show you. Thanks, Norma. I'm feeling a lot better. I went to the doctor and apparently I have eustachian tube dysfunction. So, which means that the tube that lets the pressure off in your ear. Here, let me flip this around. The, You know, the tube that, that goes from your inner ear down here is blocked in the middle here. Both of them were blocked today. This one I'm now hearing out of perfectly. So I'm now on a steroid spray for my nose and I'm supposed to, oh, sorry. I'm supposed to do this a, a lot of times each day just to encourage that blockage to go away. So I'm working on it. <coughs> I feel fine. Um, I still have a bit of a cough, but other than that, it's fine. Except for this stupid ear that I can't hear out of. Anyways, I wanted to show you a card that I received this week from Yvonne. A lovely get well soon card. And look at this. She used my favorite stamp set out of everything I own in Stamping Up. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's lovely as a tree. Can you see that? Isn't that gorgeous? She she did a a reverse spotlight technique, I guess is kind of what you call it. Thanks, Carmen. So she cut a hole in there, and then she stamped. Now, whether she stamped the hole first and then stamped over top, I don't know. But whatever she did, she did an amazing job. And it's got Wink Stella on the trees. Then there's a a few birds <clears throat> die cut out of. Mm. Yeah, what was the name of that that set they took away from us with all the all the ocean stuff in it? It's very pretty, anyways. Thank you so much, Yvonne. I appreciate it. It's been sitting on my mantle since I got it. <coughs> okay, <clears throat> and another thing I want to show you is my my Santa Express cards. I got this designer paper because I thought it was really cute. And then I didn't end up getting the stamp set in the bundle, but I really wanted to make a card. So here's one that I made. 
there's no, the only stamping is is the greeting. The rest of it is all the designer paper. And then I even used designer paper on the inside. And then I made a custom envelope out of the designer paper to go with it. Isn't that cute? I love this paper. Why haven't I used it more? I don't know. And then I made a, a reel, an Instagram reel. First time, you know, I can no longer call myself an Instagram reel virgin. <clears throat> and here's the second one I made. This is I made this one on the reel. This was my sample card. And it uses the same things. Designer paper, fussy cut out the train, stamp the sentiment, and then put the tree on the inside and made another custom envelope out of the designer paper because I have it. I might as well use it, right? <coughs> Thanks. So if you want to see my reel and you're in Instagram, go to my profile or however you search for me on Instagram. I don't know. I'm not a big Instagram person. It was a lot. Anyways, and you can find my my reel that shows you how I made it. Thank you, Holly. Um, lots of fussy cutting, but hey, I was sick. What else did I have to do? I couldn't make my videos. I have nine videos. Nope, ten videos I have to do. And I got to get my pitter-patter, get at her. And now that my voice is getting back to normal, I'm hoping tomorrow I can get some of them done. Okay. <clears throat> I'm going to show you how to do this card tonight. I got a card in a swap from Tamara Bertram for our one of our Silver Sisters swaps. And I decided I really like it. It's cute. I did change a couple of things. <coughs> I should have got the swap card, but it's hanging on my wall in the kitchen. So hers, they went this way. They were vertical. Oh, thanks, Carmen. Yay, Carmen watched my video. I got one person watching it. So hers were vertical instead of horizontal. She used something different. She used the same lease, but different paper. And then I took the pieces that I cut out of the leaf and stuck them on the inside. So I'm going to show you how I did that. A little trick on how to use those pieces and not have to throw them away. And then I stamped the envelope. So it turns out that Tamara went to New, New Orleans on the weekend to the Stamping Up um, Leader Convention that I'm so sad that I missed, but <clears throat> I'm letting it go because it's history. <coughs> and this was her swap card. So if you were there, you might have gotten a swap card. So I'm going to show you how to do it. Oh, and then I added some of the festive pearls. Yep. Best of pearls. Let me get the recipe off here so I know what I'm talking about. So I've done this technique a time or two before. And it's it's fun. And you can do it with any designer paper and a whole bunch of different um, shapes, themes, Christmas, birthday, all sorts of stuff. <clears throat> so this is the new... <coughs> <clears throat> this is the new, what's it called? Glimmer Specialty Paper, I think is what it's called. Let me find it. It's, it's in the mini. And it comes in three colors. <clears throat> so it's right here. Part of the Lights Aglow sweet and it comes in evening evergreen vanilla and gold and this is not like the old glimmer this is the new glimmer it's got a bit of a bit of a texture to it but none of the stuff falls off so when you do this there's no glitter hanging around so i i need to put which i didn't do why didn't i do that put an adhesive sheet on the other side so I could use it on the inside. I didn't do it on this one. How did I do that? Oh my, I made this card too long ago. Oh well. <clears throat> I'm going to get some adhesive sheet and I'm going to put it down the middle. Because I want to use the, those pieces on the inside. 
And I'm going to have to get my embossing buddy. I must have I must have used a whole bunch of little glue dots. This will make it so much easier. Okay, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna cut a piece of of the what's this stuff called adhesive sheet and put it on the back. So when I do my adhesive sheet. Uh, this is, they come in six by 12 sheets, mm -hmm. multi-purpose adhesive sheets. They're in the adhesive section of the catalog <clears throat> and they have a liner on them. So you just have to, it's easy to get the liner off. So this side's the sticky, this side's the liner. Try not to put your fingers on the sticky because it will take the sticky away. So I just do it like that. And now it's on there. Now let me get my embossing buddy because because I don't want it to be sticky when I put it here, like on this side, but I want it to be sticky here and on the inside. So we're going to we're going to do that. Okay, here we go. I have a piece of designer paper that is oh, three by three. And I'm going to get my paper trimmer. And this one is vertical. So I'll do this one horizontal so you can see the difference. So I'm just going to cut it. Let's do it down this end. I'm just going to cut it at. Quarter inch strips. So when you do this, kind of keep them in line if you want to hold the, keep the continuity of your paper. So this is why I didn't, or the pattern, sorry, not the paper, the pattern. This is why I didn't cut it ahead of time because I didn't want it to, it all out of line. It doesn't really matter. Well, it, I guess it all depends on what paper you're using. If you're using something that has a, a definite pattern to it, then you would want, and you want continuity, then you're going to want it to go together. So, yeah. oh, you know what? I was using centimeters, not the inches. Some of them will be narrower than the other, but it's like, does it really matter? No. I use quarter inch, but you can use whatever size you want. Oh, would have been smart to put adhesive on this too, because now I have to get adhesive on here. Okay, apparently my brain is still not functioning at full, full capacity here. Some things just sometimes are just not meant to be. Okay. Keep going because you need them all. Because I'm using the, using one of the stylish shapes stitched um, circles. And you need this full three inches to make sure that you don't have any issues with it okay so <clears throat> there's the paper now i have a piece of press and seal here because i'm going to use it for um to get the inside in so let's just use it right here that'll keep those in line Hello, Yvonne. Hey, you missed your card. I showed your card at the beginning. <laughs> okay, so I've got these pieces all sitting on this piece of, um, what's this called? It's press and seal. I'm just going to move them over a bit 
so I can get glue on that one that's crooked there. So this technique takes a lot of prep, but once you get the prep done, it's easy. I'm just putting Tombow glue on all of these strips. Then I'll let it dry so that we have a strip of like glue dots. Okay, so I'm just going to put that off to the side so it dries. Now this one, this I'm going to cut the I'm going to cut the leaf out of that. So the leaf for this envelope is comes from the leaves of holly and i'm using the hollyberry dies to cut that leaf out and i think it's the big one uh I do believe yeah so it's the there's two of them and it's the bigger of the two the sentiment comes from brightest glow right there Press and seal is not sticky on both sides, Rosemary. No. I'll get the box because I need another piece anyways. Okay, so I'm going to use the second to the largest circle from the stylish shapes to do that part. And then I'm going to finish it off with some festive pearls. So let me get the press and seal. There we go. So I haven't tried to buy this lately, but it was readily available in all the grocery stores and Walmart and all sorts of stuff. So I just, so you might've seen it years ago. They used to do a, um, a commercial and they used it with chicken breast and they would, um, seal the chicken breast inside this and then put it in the freezer. So it's sticky on one side. I'm just cutting myself a piece. So it's sticky on this side, so it'll stick to things. And But it's not sticky on that side. And if you fold it over on itself, it's basically there forever it's really hard to get it off. And that's the, the part that they showed on the commercial. Um, sealing the chicken breast up. Okay, so I'm going to run this through my die cutting machine. And I'm going to do it face up so that it doesn't move or all the pieces don't fall out of it when I'm taking it out of my machine. So I'm going to run it through this way. So the die cutting is facing the paper, but the whole thing is upside down. And I'm just going to run it through. Oh, it moved. Oh, shoot. Hang on. It moved. I got to do this again. I don't want it to move. I don't want to mess this up. Okay, hold there. Don't move. Okay, I'm running it through the machine. You're welcome. Okay, so there it is. Now I'm going to poke all the little pieces out. And because I've got adhesive sheet on there, they're kind of staying where they're supposed to be. See that? Well, I have a couple that are not there anymore. Where did they go? Oh, they're underneath. Okay. I'm just going to put them back in. Now, if you don't like this kind of fussy stuff, then don't do this part. But you know me, along with fussy cutting, I like doing fussy stuff. 
Okay, get in there, get in that hole. Okay, so all the pieces are in there. You see that? I can't lift it up or they're all gonna fall out. Get rid of that die. Now I'm just gonna take my press and seal and the sticky side down. And I'm going to go all over the whole leaf around the center bits. Oh, I know why I didn't put adhesive sheet on it the first time around, because now it's going to be impossible to get the adhesive sheet off of those little tiny bits. This is... Okay, now, as you're peeling this up, just push those pieces out. Like I said, if you don't like fussy, you're not going to like this. But I think the end result is really pretty. And if the person you're giving it to knows anything about card making, they're going to wonder how the heck you did that. Because it's very, it's different. That one over a little bit. Back in its hole. This thing is sticking to my fingers. There. Just pulling it up. Pulling it up. Slowly but surely. Oh, that reminds me. I haven't talked to my friend Shirley in a while. I'm going to have to do that. Uh-oh. Oh, it didn't get cut through all the way. Take a little bit of finessing to get that out of there. there we go. Oops. Oops. Yeah, Shirley was a friend in Powell River when we lived there. And... We used to hang out and do a lot of stuff together. And one day, one day, Ted couldn't remember her name. <laughs> so he called her that woman down the street. So she's been known as that woman down the street for a long time. Could you just use Tombow on the little bit? Yes. Yes, you can. And that's what I did the first time around. But, you know, I'm second guessing myself. So, so now I have this and I'm going to pull the liner off and then I'll just use my Tombow or my um, embossing buddy on that side and still have the sticky on that side. Okay, so we got that. We got that. Now, <clears throat> this is the window sheet. My glue is dry on the pieces now. So we're just going to start on one side. Oops. <laughs> Ow. Okay. Sticky. Hello, sticky. And we're just going to some things I'm really anal about. This I'm not. I don't know why. But if you if you want to line them all up with your grid paper, I saw somebody um attach them to their um stamparatus. And Use the stamparatus to line everything up. See, mine's going crooked, but I don't care because it's a circle, right? I guess I could, I could get them straighter. But because I have Tombow on there, all I have to do is pull them up. Straighten them out. There we go. Okay, now I'm losing, I'm losing where I'm, which way I'm putting these on here now. I don't know. That'll do. So hubby has gotten sick, but turns out he didn't get, we thought he got what I had have had but he did not he got a sinus infection 
which has been causing all his issues. So if you're supposed to be at my house on Wednesday for a class, it's going ahead. We are doing the class. Okay, I don't need those last two pieces because there we go. <coughs> Pardon me. Now I'm just going to use my block just to make sure that they're on there good and tight. I don't want them falling off. There. Now. Yeah, yay is right. I'm I'm excited because I was not looking forward to having to postpone that class. But everything will be sanitized. And um, once I sanitize it, he's not allowed back in the kitchen. Or the eating area or the studio or whatever you want to call it. Because, you know, it's got very many names in my world. Okay, now I'm going to line that up. And I'm going to run this through the machine. And I'm going slow because it has to cut through the window sheet and it has to cut through the designer paper. And before I take the die off, I'm going to see if it, it has cut through or if I need to run it through again. No, I need to run it through again. Uh -oh. Okay, just let me get some. Post-it tape here because, you know, when you make these things, when you're alone in your craft room, they always turn out so good. And then I go to do a, a tutorial on it or a demonstration and they never work out. So now I've got it pinned back in there where it was. Uh oh, is that where it was? Sure, that'll work. I'm going to run it through this way upside down. I should have done that the first time around, and I didn't. So there you go. Live and learn. Cut it upside down. Ah. Ah. Okay. Fingers crossed it worked. Yay, it worked. Okay. Take the post-it paper off without pulling up all my strips oh lord okay now i got that song going through my head you know the one oh lord won't you buy me a mercedes benz i won't sing it because then facebook will say uh uh uh, uh. you're not allowed to sing okay I'm just going to use my Scissors to persuade this to separate a little bit more. Because if I'd have done it upside down the first time around, it would have worked a lot better. Apparently I missed a couple of spots. Oh well, you know, it's life. It works and it doesn't work. And you just go with the flow, right? So I'm hoping to be doing more reels. They're kind of funky. Now that I know what I'm doing. There we are. Okay, so there's our there's our background strippy thing. <clears throat> okay. So the only other pieces you need is a white base, a white for the inside, and this one for the front is five by three and three quarters, and it gets popped up on your card. Let's get rid of that. Don't need that. Okay. Let's get some Tombow on these. Yeah, it was, it would have been smart, Holly, just to use Tombow on these instead of having that adhesive sheet, but this will work. This is probably what I did the first time around. When I was smart, my brain cells were all working. Now my brain cells are not all working. Some of them are apparently still on vacation or something. Okay, now get it off my finger because it's sticky. There, we'll let that dry. Okay, <clears throat> so shall I do this one horizontal or vertical? I tried to look at it, but it said it was... Oh, try again because... <coughs> 
<clears throat> I mistakenly uploaded three of them. <laughs> ah, yep. Three. And then I um I deleted the wrong one. So here I'm just going to it and I will get you the I'll get you the link to it. Get me the link. Copy the link. There. If you got nothing else to do, just watch my my thing. Yeah, live and learn is right, Holly. Okay. <clears throat> so I'll do this one this way. So now you got to get adhesive on the back here where those strips are so that you don't see it. So I'm going to use the Tombow again. Like this. And I'm not worried about those two little itty bitty edges because they're fine. Okay. You're welcome. Okay, get my awesome tweezers. And we'll put this right about there. Now, I'm not putting the sentiment on yet because I won't know where to put it. Is that right? Or is, oh, it's a bit low. Oh, well. Let's see if I could just shove it up a bit without exposing. Oh, and I should have had it over this way further. Oh, well. It's there. It's on. <clears throat> okay. Now we'll get this. Take off the liner off of, what side do I want it off of? This side. I don't want to take the liner off the whole thing yet because I have to, I have to use part of it or I want to use part of it for the adhesive. Okay, I'm just going to take my embossing buddy and go over top of this so that it's not sticky anymore. See, that's not sticky. This is sticky. Okay, and take the rest of the liner off. Oops, it's not liner. Okay, then you put this on here. Here's my card base just so I know how far over I can go because I didn't get that over far enough to the right hand side. <clears throat> I know this is, must be painful for you guys to watch this because, you know, it's almost like I don't know what I'm doing. But we're going to end up with a different card. There we go. There we are. <coughs> there it is. Now, <clears throat> Memento Ink rid of my tools here. The sentiment. I like memento um, rather than stays on because it's easier to clean up. And when I'm using just general stamping, I use memento ink. So this is dye-based ink by Sukaniko that's stamping up cells. But it's not a foam pad. It's a fabric pad. So when I'm inking up, I tend to go down and then do a little, I call it the twist and shout move. Just a little bit like that. Like move it like that. But don't do this because it will grab the ink on the sides of the letters and you get big blobs. So once I've done this and then done this a couple of times, then I do this again just to get rid of any blobs that are there. Now's when you pray that you get it on here straight. Okay, it's going down. It is where it is. Thank you. It is a pretty card, Connie. I loved it. Perfect. Oh, look at that. I got it. Yay! Okay. <clears throat> Dimensionals for the back. Because I want this popped up because that's what Tamara did. She popped this part up. I wish, oh, look what I did. Oh, sugar shack. That's not going to come off. Boy, what a comedy of errors this card has turned out to be, eh? 
Oh, it's going. Yay. Oh, look. Still haven't ordered more of those erasers. I'm going to put that right there so I remember next time I'm in Amazon to stick some in my in my um, cart so that I remember to order them next time. Okay, and put that there. <clears throat> yeah, so some of the people I know were in New Orleans since last Saturday. So a week. A week ago, Saturday, and they did all sorts of funky things. Like they went on haunted mansion tours and haunted graveyard tours and cooking classes and all sorts of neat stuff. And I was having regrets that I wasn't there. But I was glad that I wasn't there considering I was sick and it wouldn't have been fun having to miss it because I was sick. But then if I had have signed up, got sick, not gone, I would have got all the pillow orders or the pillow gifts. Oh, Holly, you want one too? <clears throat> hey, let me get a paper here. Because if I don't write it down, it won't be remembered. Okay. Sand eraser amazon one for holly got it <coughs> oh okay <coughs> <coughs> two for holly sorry holly one for norma anybody else want one just let me know um, I'm not going to be ordering them right away, so you've got time to let me know. Okay, so there's the front. I just have to put, just have to put the festive pearls on there now. Uh oh, I only got one gold one left. Hmm. Okay, so this one's going to have. Can I use the pink, the red ones? They're supposed to be cherry cobbler. Sure, I'll use the red ones. I'm going to put one here. One here and one there. There we go. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Wendy, how am I going to get it to you? You know, it would co probably cost $10 for me to send it to you. Okay, Holly, Yvonne. Wendy, Sharon, Valerie. Okay. You're on the list, Wendy, but let me know if you want, still want me to do it. Okay. So look at that. There's the card front. All done. That didn't take too long. The hardest part was cutting the designer paper up like that. But I managed to keep the continuity of the design. Can you see that? You can actually see the Oh, yeah, because it's not going to be ready in time for me to mail up for your um, <clears throat> candy cane class. Darn, that would have been perfect, eh? Okay, so now I've got this. This is the pieces for the inside. The Tombow is dry. So I'm just, see, it's not falling off because it's attached. Oh, hang on. Hang on. A piece of liner is coming off doesn't belong there to remove that there that's off of the the main one okay so now all you have to do is hold it up in the air until you figure out where you want it put it down press it on because it's called press and seal see you burnish it on here really good and you want to get right down inside so that all those little pieces are still attached there we are and then you lift you slowly hopefully this is going to work why is this not working oh you know what's going to happen now ah 
All those liners are going to pull off of those pieces. Well, one did. See, and I'm just, I'm rolling this off so that it's leaving the paper on there and just pulling the press and seal off. But now when you get to here, don't just rip it because it's sticky. It will rip your cardstock there. So the only issue I have is this one right here where the liner has come off of the glimmer paper. So I'm just gonna pull that off because this has, that has adhesive on it. So we'll just, without pushing it on the rest of them, just going to put it right there, pull that off. There we are. There's the inside. <laughs> what do you think? Pretty cool, eh? This little piece here, I don't know where that's from, but it's going. I don't like it. So there you go. There's the inside. And you waste nothing. So don't put the adhesive sheet on there. Because you still have to put glue on them. Okay. <clears throat> I'll put this inside. I get my press and or stamp and seal, press and seal, stamp and seal. Who knows? Get it running. <laughs> oh holly you're funny yes if you don't like fussy stuff you won't like that technique definitely but when i i'm ocd and when i want something and i want it to work i make it work there you go so there's the card the only thing i got left to do is the envelope and i'm going to use cherry cobbler and get out my stamping paper. Let's see if I can do this without getting glue everywhere or uh, ink everywhere. And the stamp from that stamp set called Leaves of Holly. Oops, come on. You could stamp the inside. You really don't need to do that technique, but I don't want to waste it. Thanks, Carmen. I, I, you know, sometimes you just don't want to waste that pretty stuff. And just stamp it like this. Holly on the inside. So this um, bundle is the bundle that is my September stamp a stack and uh, subscription tutorial focus is leaves of holly and then the holly berry dies. And those that's two of the three of the four of the videos that I need to get done this week because it's not it's almost september it's not done yet so there we go there's the same card one's vertical one's horizontal one has gold pearls and one will have red pearls <laughs> all these wasteful and frivolous yeah so when i come back on thursday is it thursday when is this one what is this one this is september that's, that's next week okay so on Thursday, September the 1th, I'm going to show you another way to use die cut pieces so that you don't waste them when I do the candy cane, the two candy cane cards. Okay, so thanks everybody. I appreciate it. And it's so nice to hear out of one side of my head again and be able to talk without coughing and sounding like I have a croaker in my throat. <clears> throat. So, to everybody, have a wonderful weekend. 
I did a lot of creativity and stuff. Oh, I know what I did on the weekend. I got all the candy cane, the candy cane mega stamp camp, all the pieces prepped and boxed up and ready to go. I'm so excited because I'm like, first class I have is on the 18th of September. So I'm like two and a half weeks ahead of schedule. You're very welcome. And thanks so much for joining me, ladies. I hope you enjoy the rest of your evening. And I will be back Thursday night at 8 o'clock with some more stamping and using up those leftover die cut pieces. And if you're in my, what class are we having? Oh, it's Hello Harvest on Wednesday that I had to postpone from last week. So if you're in the Hello Harvest class, it's going ahead in person noon in my craft, in my studio and 6.30 for the virtual edition. You're very welcome for all the ideas. Oh, that's nice, Carmen. Seeing friends is good. Are you home now, Carmen? <clears throat> yeah, my voice even feels better, not only sounds better. <coughs> All right. So thanks very much, everybody. Let me do this. Uh, let me do that. There we go. Oh, you get to see me again. Blah! <laughs> <coughs> Thanks, everybody. I'll see you soon in my stamp, in my craft room. Stamp and smiles.